the dreamer, the imaginative innovator, the out-of-the-box thinker. Whatever you want to call the INFJ personality type, one thing is for sure. Their inner minds can be both their greatest entertainer as well as their worst enemy. So, what would one experience if they were to spend a day inside this so-called INFJ fantasy land? And would they make it out alive? Welcome or welcome back, psychos. Before we get into it, we'd love it if you liked and subscribed to our channel, as well as to click on the post notification bell so you never miss a video. Alright, let's get right into it, starting with... Number 1. The ability to imagine another's free-heartedness. Known for their undeniably understanding and kind-hearted nature, the INFJ personality type is always giving second, third, and fourth chances. Despite the pain they endure along the way, this personality type can't help but to analyze the deeper meaning behind tragic circumstances and the unfortunate decisions of others. Through their old soul essence, the INFJ not only has the ability to see through others' lies and deceit, but they can also see through people's cold and malicious behaviors. When they turn inwards, this introverted intuitive type can only imagine the potential of beauty, purity, and genuinity in every individual they meet. Regardless of their wrongdoings and experienced trauma, the INFJs use their inner fantasy land to imagine others' inner child beneath the hurt and anger they project onto others. While this innate trait can cause them to get caught up in connections that only end up bringing them down, with the appropriate boundaries set around this empathy, the INFJ will use these at-time imaginative beliefs to utilize their compassion from a distance. Number 2. Crippling Option Overload With the ability to think of some of the most incredible potential paths to take in life, the INFJ's inner fantasy land causes them to be met with serious indecision. Through a spectrum of completely logical and easily attainable to considerably far out and challenging routes, it's fair to say the INFJs probably dreamed of themselves being the main character in hundreds of scenarios. From careers to hobbies, relationships to living environments, and everything in between. Their dreamlike state of future projecting allows them to feel out every scenario from all angles. Through these so-called fantasies, INFJs not only question whether or not they could see themselves being happy and succeeding, but instead they visualize and sort through all the potential wins, obstacles, changes to their character, the effects on those around them, and even the physical and emotional difficulties that are associated with each desired path. So, while having the ability to close their eyes and imagine themselves right in the middle of any life choice, the vivid visions combined with their analytical mind can make the decision-making process extremely overwhelming. Number 3. They can get lost in the maze. Elaborate and rich, the INFJ's inner world is like a never-ending maze. When this imaginative type dives deep with a train of thought, they can expect those very train tracks to direct them in any which way, exploring destinations that seem completely unrelated to the original mapped-out direction. With both introverted intuition and introverted thinking at hand, the INFJ brain is wired to create connections through both their stored subconscious and conscious information. In fact, according to personality type blog typeinmind.com, the INFJ's inner world acts by storing information in a spread out way with all the pieces of data having connections to additional pieces of data. This creates a dense web-like mass of information that is too large to be viewed in detail as a whole, but can be zoomed in on to show intricate clusters of threads and thoughts. And so, when taking a trip through these intricate clusters, it can be quite easy for them to get lost in their own ideas and thought forms, often to the point of distracting them from their outer reality. Not to mention, coming out of these captivating inner journeys can cause the real world to feel slightly dull. Number 4. Their imagination is extremely vivid. Whether it's through the words of a novel, the spoken words of a guided meditation, or even the process of recalling an old memory, the INFJ can instantly surround themselves with every absorbed detail. When the novel's main character walks by an old bakery only to be met with the smell of fresh bread and simmering berry jam on a cool autumn afternoon, the INFJ becomes that main character 
by experiencing the sensory smells and weather. In fact, within a split second, through their imaginative introverted intuition and the subconscious components of their extroverted feeling and sensing, they may even begin to fill in the sensory blanks. They may visualize the old bakery through a combination of bake shops they've seen and filed deep within their memories. They could imagine the cobblestone beneath their shoes and even the leaves crunching despite these details not being mentioned. They'll further set the scene through this fantasy-esque imagination to become fully immersed in the experience, making it their own while simultaneously making it all that much more captivating. Number 5. Fantasies are usually triggered by their curiosities. Are trees conscious? For some personality types, this simple question would be met with utter concern for the one asking. And for the other personality types, it would lead to a simple yes or no answer after a short exchange of opinions. For the INFJ, however, a simple question like this can unlock an entirely new curiosity that they can't help but to explore, leading to more questions and the imagined visions to accompany those questions. The INFJ would slowly begin unraveling their curiosity. How would these trees communicate to one another if they were conscious? Is the underground system of roots their communication system? Or do they speak such high pitches through their branches that we can't hear? If they're conscious, do they feel pain? Do they reincarnate once they've died? Is cutting down a tree considered murder? And slowly but surely, the INFJ is sent into an Alice in Wonderland-like imaginative vision where the trees are just as busy living their lives as us humans are. They may even go as far as to research their philosophical ideas to allow their fantasy to flourish even further, leaving them with not only a fantasized version of their ideas, but also a deeper understanding for the hidden knowledge of reality. Number six, it's not as magical as some would seem. Often described as being enchanted, mystical, rich and intricate, most INFJs would agree that their so-called inner fantasy land isn't all it's cracked up to be. Based on real life situations, people and places, the intricacy of their inner thoughts are much more realistic than they are fairy tale esque While these real-life fantasies may be sprinkled with a sense of impracticality, unlikeliness and undue optimism at times, the logical component of the INFJ's habits help them avoid moving full throttle into complete la-la land. This logic combined with their extroverted sensing allows the INFJ to ground themselves both in the real world and in their dream world. Furthermore, Compared to other types such as the INFP who tend to use their imaginative abilities for more otherworldly and unrealistic creations, the INFJ's fantasies tend to lean more towards the human psyche, more specifically people's thoughts and interactions. And so, while they're certainly able to envision extremely vivid hypothetical scenarios of both positive and negative social exchanges, circumstances, potential outcomes, and philosophical viewpoints, Spending a day in the fantasy land of an INFJ wouldn't be all rainbows, butterflies, and LSD simulations as some would assume. Number 7. There are very few limits to their imagination. Although the notorious INFJ fantasy land may not be as mystical as it's often described to be, that's not to say it doesn't run rampant. To put it simply, the so-called fantasy land is wild in nature and can even take the conscious INFJ to places they'd never go intentionally. In fact, it's not impossible for the INFJ themselves to be left utterly speechless and uncomfortable with just how odd their mind can be at times. Whether it be fantasies of a particularly sexual nature, spiteful thoughts on those who have hurt them, or even self-destructive discouragements, with the inability to pull themselves out of their own heads without a noticeable distraction, these untamed imaginative thoughts can cause them to question their own intentions. On the bright side of things, the bottomless pit of thoughts, ideas, and connections can make for truly enjoyable and even humorous entertainment. Intrusive thoughts and questions such as wondering what would happen if they let one rip in the middle of a serious conversation, or how their boss would react if they were to make a scene about the disrespect they're facing in the workplace. All the things the INFJ would never dare to play out in the real world get stored in this fantasy land, often for their own sanity. Well, psychos, that's it for today. So, let us know in the comments below what it's like in your INFJ fantasy land. Also, make sure to leave us a like, share with your friends, 
and also subscribe to our channel so that you never miss a video.